people in the industry talk about catchy tunes or sticky tunes. For some reason in Germany, uh, uh, in the 1970s and 80s, they talked about Ohrwurm, oh, I can't pronounce German, Ohrwurm, sort of earworms. Uh, uh, I suppose, um, which like earwigs somehow are supposed to bore their way into the ear and into the, into the brain. I prefer to call them brain worms. Music can haunt one in a peculiar way, a tune which, which one may not even have paid attention to, it's just something one has heard, may seem to play itself and replay itself automatically uh, without one's desire, without one's consent, and sometimes maddeningly, and hundreds of times, and for hours or days on end, uh, usually a fragment of music, usually three or four bars, which go round and round and round. And um, the, um, uh, uh, this is often music which has been attached to an advertisement or a jingle, and uh, um, advertisers, of course, exploit this strange susceptibility or vulnerability of the brain. I don't know that this sort of automatic repetition uh, occurs with anything else. Uh, I don't know that it occurs with visual scenes or even with, uh, with words, unless the words are attached to a, like a jingle or attached to a, to a lyric or to a song. Um, so this is a special form of involuntary musical imagery uh, which, which is out of control and can, can become really quite unpleasant and intrusive. And, and you knock your head and you can um, uh, play other music and it may be very quite difficult to get rid of it.